Today's Pokedex profile belongs to the fossil Pokemon Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a rock-flying type Pokemon that once soared the skies near mountains and canyons in search of prey, but is now unfortunately extinct in the wild. The good news, however, is that due to modern fossil restoration technology, Aerodactyl has made a reappearance in the Pokemon world. The chance to own one of these ancient predators is now a reality if you don't mind doing some hard work finding a fossil first. Back in ancient times, Aerodactyl roamed in arid canyons and treacherous mountain ranges where it made its nest on cliff sides and inside high altitude caves. Today, the places to search for Aerodactyl have not changed, but the method for finding one certainly has. Most owners of an Aerodactyl have acquired it by finding one of its fossils in the wild and having it resurrected at a fossil restoration lab. These labs can be found on nearly every continent, but the technology was pioneered at the famous Pokemon Lab on Cinnabar Island. So next time you are in the mountains or desert hills, keep your eyes on the ground because you may just be stepping on your ticket to this rare Pokemon. Though originally thought to be only a carnivore, after observing modern Aerodactyl, it has been noted that it will also occasionally eat fruit. Its large reptilian wings serve as powerful flying tools that connect to two small claw-like hands which are used for grasping prey. The claws on its feet are also very powerful and are used for lifting even larger prey high into the air. Its large tail is used for balance while flying and walking, with a large triangular point at the tip. The most notable feature, however, is Aerodactyl's massive jaw. It has a row of large serrated teeth that are designed to slice and tear the throats of unsuspecting prey. Even the most experienced trainers should never put their hands too close to an Aerodactyl's mouth in order to avoid accidentally getting cut by the sharp teeth. When exposed to Aerodactylite, it will mega evolve into Mega Aerodactyl. It then gains rocky spikes all over its body that aids its rugged nature and fierce battle style. Some researchers theorize that this is even closer to Aerodactyl's original appearance before the changes caused by the DNA resurrection. Aerodactyl's temperament is also drastically changed when in mega form, and it will look to attack anything that moves if not well trained. For this reason, only the most experienced trainers should consider using its mega form inside a battle. The shiny variant of this species is not as highly sought after as some other species, mainly due to how similar it looks to its natural color. For those who find themselves as trainers of one of these prehistoric Pokemon, understanding its temperament and nature can aid you in forming a strong bond. Aerodactyl is an extremely aggressive Pokemon and a natural hunter. It will readily battle any Pokemon who it deems weaker or compromised. For this reason, careful training must be implemented to ensure the safety of yourself as well as those who you battle with. Whether you choose to take the challenge of owning an Aerodactyl or not, you can still own one of its many training cards with pride. Debuting in the Fossil Expansion, Aerodactyl has been featured on many rare cards that will give you a taste of the excitement such a prehistoric Pokemon brings. So if a vicious hunter with the ability to soar high above the mountain air is just the type of challenge you are looking for as a trainer, then Aerodactyl may be the Pokemon for you. So get out there and start digging those fossils. Thanks for watching guys, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. The time of year where I upload the most is coming up, so we'll have a ton of new content on the way. Hit the poll to vote for which Pokemon you want to see next, and we'll see you next time.